guys, this video is on the two major systems of measurement, English and metric. English system is also called imperial system, or you can say imperial units or inch pound units or US customary units. This is an old system, but it's now only used in America and a couple other countries. The metric units, or you can say metric system of measurement, another name of metric units is SI system, or you can say SI units. The full form for this abbreviation SI, S stands for system and I is for international. Now, this is called system international or it is called SI system of units because it is internationally agreed upon and it's used by scientists across the world and rest of the world uses metric system. Even for, for, for solving chemistry problems, we will be using metric units or the metric system and this system the metric system is more modern now the derived units they are still the si units the word derived means originating from something so derived units are the units that are formed by the mathematical combination of si base units there are seven seven si base units that you're going to see soon and derived units we have to multiply or divide the two or more SI base units to get the derived units. Let's go to the English units now. We're going to start from here. This chart shows the English units for most common physical quantities. Length, mass, volume, time, and temperature. Uh, length is here you go here's the definition length is the linear or uh, it's a straight line interval between any two points and this is this applies to whether it's a length or it's a height or a width or circumference or even a perimeter so more technical term for length would be distance so we can say distance is the linear interval between any two points inches these are the units these are all english units now depending on the distance we can use either of them so inches is generally used for smaller objects we measure height in feet and then for more big distances we use english unit uh, such as yard for example if you have to find the perimeter of the field you can use yard miles is usually used for travel purpose so it's miles is used for very large distances now ounces pound tons these are the english units for measuring mass now, depending on again depending on the amount of matter we have to measure this is the definition of mass the amount of matter or substance in an object volume is defined as here is the definition for volume the amount of space an object takes up and this is for three dimensional space so volume is for three dimensional space you have to remember dimensions are very important now the english units here are the english units for volume all of these all right you use unit gallons when you're buying gas gasoline or while cooking you can use cups pints quartz again depending on how much is the amount for liquid medicines and even juices that you buy they all come in fluid ounces and students what you see in parentheses here these are all the abbreviations for those english units that's what you see written there now time this here time time is a very very crucial physical quantity the english unit for measuring time are seconds minutes hours days months years now when visiting a doctor they want to know what's your pulse rate they also want to know for how long you have this disease or a problem for hours let's say you're coughing are you coughing for hours for days for months for years so this is very crucial then comes uh, okay, so one more thing. So time is a way of express, expressing the duration. That's what the time is. It's an interval between any two events. 
Last one is the temperature. And the English unit for measuring temperature is degrees Fahrenheit. This is Fahrenheit. But hospitals and science labs use Celsius scales. So you notice that in English system, we have several units for one quantity. For the quantity distance, you can use either one of these. For mass, either one of them. Volume, these, time, these. Temperature, this one. Now let's go to the metric units here. In the metric system, for one measurement, there is only, there's mainly one SI base unit that you need to remember. So that's the beauty of using metric system. This system provides seven standard base units. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Meter for length, as I already mentioned, distance would be the more technical term because you can then switch it for width, for height, for distance, and any other linear measurement. Kilogram is for mass. Time is measured in seconds. This is the same second. This unit second is the same unit as you use in English system of units. Temperature is measured in Kelvin. Mole is the SI unit for amount of substance or you can say amount of particles. And electric current uses the SI unit ampere. Luminous intensity, which is actually a brightness, is measured in candela. Now from one through five, these are the one that you will be using in chemistry. Everything needs to be agreed upon so that scientists can repeat experiments in an independent way and still have the same results. And they prefer, actually all scientists across the world, they use this system of units. Now SI system, I'm going to put this for you guys here so that when you're taking notes, you can copy this as well. So SI system is standardized system. Scientists use it. This is used for science. This is more logical. It's based on multiples of 10. So there will be prefixes that you're going to see later when I show you the conversion problems. So this system, the SI system is much easier to remember and to apply. Okay, now next part is the derived units. Derived units are formed or obtained by multiplying or dividing two or more SI base units. Here, area is a measure of two dimensional surface, a flat surface. You are multiplying two same SI base units, meter times meter. What does that give you? Meter square, all right? Now, similarly, we have volume, we have density, speed, velocity, acceleration, force, pressure, energy, work, momentum, power. Now, all of these units are derived units and they're all, all these units for these derived measurements. They are derived from the SI7 base units. If we look here for volume, you also, well, we also have, if I wrote here only meter cube, but liter is another one when we talk about the volume of liquids. Well, but still that's also a derived unit. Um, let's look at the example of complex derived unit. Let's use this one, the energy, which is also a verb. This one is force times distance, or you can say force times displacement. The derived unit for this energy or the work is joule. Now this is represented only, joule is represented only by single letter J, but dimensions of joule are kilograms, meter square over second square. So don't get tricked by one single letter when it's a derived unit. You have to look at the dimensions of it. Also included is the basic measurement chart for you guys. Here it is. You have physical quantities and you have, which are base quantities and derived, they're right here. Distance, mass, temperature, volume, time, area, angles. And examples of instruments or devices are given here for measuring these quantities. You have metric and SI units. So you have metric, which are SI units and the English units. Then last one, 
in this column which is your last column you have definitions or you can say with formula or formula for each of these physical quantities now for volume besides ruler I have a ruler here for solid objects graduated cylinder for liquid objects uh, for for the liquid liquids now for liquids you can if you have to measure the liquids the volume of the liquids more precisely you can use burette and you can use pipette so here i'm going to put it here for you you can write that down the burette and pipette these are the devices for measuring more precise volume of liquids now for distance you can also use inch tape and let me see what else here the mass well mass sometimes on earth we use mass and weight interchangeably okay on earth but again depending on planets they are not same they are not same just remember mass and weight are not same for measuring mass we have a scale which is a pan balance could be double or single and for the weight we use spring balance please take time to go back and read everything pause anytime you need to these are my quick notes and please read them take time reading here i want you to brainstorm this question because we have been we had this whole lesson about the units but why do we even care about learning these units now think if you have one day you are not allowed to use any of the units how would that affect your life i hope you learned from the video thank you for watching